Today we're going to make a watercolor painting inspired by my favorite artist, Claude Monet. Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Kaufman. Today we're gonna to take a look at this painting, which is the Water Lily Bridge by Claude Monet. Claude Monet painted this bridge, which is Japanese inspired, hundreds and hundreds of times, at different times of day, sometimes in the rain. This bridge is found in Monet's home. So Claude Monet lived in France, right outside of Paris, in a village called Givernay. And in the village, there was a pink house, which is where he lived. And there is a beautiful water pond, lily pond across the way. And since Monet has sold Givernay to the French government, now it is a museum. And because it's a museum, they actually built a road that separates the house where the gardens are and the water lily pond. For, I was fortunate enough to go there. So it's one of my favorite ever places to visit. Um, so you have to go underneath the road through this secret tunnel to get to the water lily pond. And you do have to pay a fee to go see the pond and the house and visit Givernay. It's like, like I said, it's a museum. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off by painting the pond a very special way. And this is going to involve watercolor paint, cellophane, and paper. If you do not have watercolor paint, you can use temper paint and add lots of water to it. Okay, so this will be a fun way to do a Monet painting. Okay, so you want to take your cellophane and just spread it out. Now, I, I have a piece of paper underneath. You do not need that. It's just for you to see the colors because my granite counter is very speckly. So I'm going to start off with some blue. And again, Impressionists, they just kind of left like little dots that were kind of blurry. So I'm gonna take some blue down here. And you notice what's happening on the cellophane is the paint's not really sticking. It's kind of like bubbling. So here Shayla's gonna do it too. So we're taking some blue. I'm gonna take some green. And the Impressionist painters never painted very flat. It was not one tone, it was lots of colors layered on top of each other. So actually there is a term called Monet and a full Monet is when something from far away looks really, really beautiful. And then if you get a little closer, it doesn't look so beautiful. So the reason why we say that for Monet is because if you look at his paintings really, really close, all you see is like blobs of paint and it doesn't really look that pretty. And I'm kind of focusing just on like the bottom part. Maybe I'll put in, I did blue, I did green, I did yellow. I think I'm gonna put in a little bit of purple. Okay, and now I'm just gonna print this. So I'm gonna take another piece of paper it's the, actually the first piece of paper. You don't need that second one underneath. I'm gonna take a piece of paper and place it. And then I'm gonna take, lift up my cellophane like this and flip it, okay? So what I'm gonna do here is just take my fingers and kind of blend this paint. So we're starting to see all those like little speckly dots. You can rub it, smear it. Whatever. Okay, once you're happy, then you remove the cellophane. Take, throw this out. And I'm gonna make the Japanese inspired bridge. <gasps> oh no, I just spilled. Okay, I'm gonna make the Japanese inspired bridge. How can I set this up so you can see it both? Not like that. Okay, we're back. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna intentionally make the bridge. So the bridge is like a, a large 
curve, like a sad face. And I'm doing mine upside down. So this is the water that's facing you. This is where the bridge is going to be. So I'm gonna take some green. I'm gonna do a large sad face. If I have too much water on my brush with watercolors, the color comes out really light. So I'm gonna do a second one on top like this. I'm gonna do some vertical lines. I'm gonna make some lily pads. Maybe some little pieces of grass. Okay. And these trees that you see behind the bridge, they're called weeping willows. So for the weeping willows, I'm just gonna take my brush and kind of tap it like this. See what I'm doing? This is called stippling. So stippling gives you a texture when you paint. And I'm gonna do this across the top. I'm gonna to try to add some flowers to my lily pads. So I'm just gonna do little lines that come up like this. So you saw I made those lily pads. I'm gonna keep stippling and making some more flour.